Here's another video for my A-level electronics students. I want to show you how we can test whether port B or another port for that matter meets a certain condition in terms of a uh, bit pattern that we specify. So um, this is really easy to do in many higher level programming languages. There isn't an equality operator as such in assembly code so we need to have a little bit of a workaround and I'm going to show you how we can do it with an exclusive OR gate. So let's uh, make ourselves a subroutine just so we can test things out. So I'm going to call it. Um, let's I'm going to call it uh, test bits, and then I'm going to define myself a subroutine. Well, actually, what I first of all do, I just put the label for the subroutine. So I'm going to call my subroutine test bits, and then I'm going to return. So that's a label, that's a return. Effectively, the two things in combination make a subroutine. And uh, in fact, although it's not going to do anything useful, let's just try running this. And sure enough, it's um, compiled there. Now, current line of execution is there. So if we press F7, we've now entered into the subroutine. So we're now current on that line, press F7. Yeah, okay, so no errors so far as you would expect. So what I want to do, I want to check whether port B has this particular bit pattern. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mov f. Now mov f moves the contents of the file. Remember port B is a file. So I'm going to mov f and I'm going to move it. So move port B. And by the way, you have to have capital letters there. If you have a look at the include file, you'll see somewhere, uh, where are we there? Yeah, there. You'll notice that these are port A, port B. All of these identifiers are with capital letters. In this case, sensitive, so you need to have it like that. So port B, and then where do I want to move it? I want to move it into the working register. So once again, presumably somewhere here, we've got uh, W defined. Where is it? It's going to be in there somewhere. Uh, there we go. Okay, we've got W and F defined there. Uh, you could equally, you know, W just uh, equates to zero. So you could have typed zero, but that's not intuitive what that means. Much easier to understand if you do W. So now I've moved the contents of port B, or I've copied the contents of port B into the working register. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to exclusive um, or a literal value with the working register. So X or LW means exclusive or, uh, and then you're going to exclusive or a literal value, which we're going to specify uh, to whatever's currently in the working register. And um, we'll copy of B is in the working register because that's what we just previously did. And then the result of doing that logic operation is going to be saved back in the working register. So now we specify our bit pattern. So I'm going to do it like this. Let's just copy and paste that text. So using that same thing there. So I'm going to exclusive or whatever is in port B with this. And that now is going to um, update uh, wreg, the working register and the Z bit. Now the Z bit is really rather important because it's we're going to examine the Z bit to see if there was a match or not. Now just before we go any further then let's just have a look at a truth table for an exclusive OR gate. So I've got two inputs here, I've got B and A and then I've got A exclusive OR B. So if you said um, 0 exclusive OR 0 the output's going to be 0. If you consider 0 and 1, one of them is exclusively true, so the output is going to be uh, true or high or 1, however you want to phrase it. 1 exclusive or 0, it's again there because only one of them is, is, is exclusively high. And here there's two inputs that are high, so not exclusively one or the other, so the output's going to be low. So what you'll see is if two bits match, the output's always zero. So if two bits match like there, the output's zero. If two bits here match, the output's zero. So we can use that because 
if we're going to exclusive all this with a value from port B and those two things are an identical match each one of those bits because it's, a, it's going to be a bitwise um, exclusive um, or operation logic operation on each one of the bits so if they match if there's an exact match then the um, working with after this has taken place the working register is going to be all zeros if the working register is all zeros then the Z bit will be set so we know that there was a match uh, right okay so what we're then going to do we, we need to just check whether the Z bit of the status register has been set so we need to do a bit test file uh, and then bit test file and then skip if set well, which file do we need to test? We need to test the status file. Which bit of it? We need to test the Z bit of the status uh, file register. Now, if it's set, we're going to skip the next line. But um, if it's not set, then we don't skip it. So what would we want to do? Well, let's assume an alcove. We just want to repeatedly test port B. So we're then going to go to something. Now, you could, if you wanted to, you could go to test bits. I think it's a little bit misleading because test bits is a label and also it's our subroutine name. And it's okay if you want to do that. You can do test bits. However, I prefer never to use a go to to go to a label which is used as a subroutine name. I rather use um, a separate label. So unnecessary, I know, but I'm actually going to do test bits loop loop. So I've now defined a new label there. So I've actually got two labels in a row. And now I'm going to go to test bits loop. So let's um, let's we've got a breakpoint in there already. Let's see if this compiles. Looks like it's compiled, it's running, it's now at that line of execution. That's uh, F7, so we've now entered into the subroutine. And we're going to move whatever's in port B. Let's have a look over here on the right hand side. So port B is currently with zeros. We're going to move that into the working register. So now the working register contains all zeros. And then what we're going to do, we're going to exclusive or this with all zeros now if you do that um, what you're going to find is the working register is, is actually going to be a duplicate of that so if we just do f7 now you'll notice up here looking up here that um, that then is the working register is not all zeros therefore these because it's not all zeros, the zero bit of the status register is not set. Let's just hover over that for a moment. So you'll see that the Z bit is currently zero, so not set. And because it's not set, remember we're going to skip if set, but it's not set, so we're not, not going to skip. So then we will execute the next line, so then it will repeat the test. So it's just going to continually repeat that test each time. Now this time around, what we're going to do is, let's just copy that text. This time around, we're going to uh, double click Alt B. And I will just now type the, uh, paste the value that we're actually going to be looking for. And so F7. Now this time around, we're going to move Alt B into the working register. So that's going to update in just a moment when I press F7. And then um, we're now going to exclusive or this value, this literal value, with what's in the working register. Now, because they're exactly the same, remember when if you have two identical bit values, the output is always going to be zero. So whether they're two identical zeros as the inputs or two identical ones as the inputs, the output's always going to be zero. So if you've got an exact match for this literal, the result of it is going to be all zeros. And because the result is all zeros, the Z bit of the status register will also be set. So let's try this now. Let's just uh, 
execute this current line by pressing F7. And so we get exclusive awards. So now you see the working register is all zeros. Now, because working register was all zeros, when you execute logic, um, um, a logic instruction, if the result is zero, the status register, the bit, the Z bit, is now going to be set to zero. So you'll see that. So it's set, set. So uh, set to one. So you'll see the Z bit. Hopefully you can see you saw the Z bit there is set to one. So now when we test bit test file skip if set. So we're going to if the Z bit of the status register is set, then skip the next line. And sure enough, it did skip the next line, it skipped that line. So now we've gone to return and then we've gone to the next line. So you can quite easily, so long as you understand the meaning of uh, exclusive or and you understand the truth table for exclusive or, you can use it to test any bit pattern that you wish. Okay, hopefully that's useful.